What's up guys, Panda Taco here. Uh, just giving you guys an update of the truck, of my 2017 Tacoma TRD Pro. And it's been a while since I posted. I uh, just thought I'd give you guys an update on the mods that I've done so far. We'll start here in the back, I'll show you guys. Start in the back. Just purchased the RCI Metalworks steel rear bumper with the Rigid Industry SQ backup lights. These are super bright. I couldn't be pleased with those. Um, I have them integrated so when I you know go in reverse, they're turned on. I've got the backup sensors here. I got a lot of clearance with the rear bumper. Got my tow hooks as well. Integrated towing underneath the license plate. I like the factory look that it it came with that's why I purchased it still retains that nice stock finish with the satin powder coat black right there let me show you the next mod I got the water port I purchased that a couple months ago the way this works is you click it in right here turn it on so it pressurizes itself I'll show you guys how far it reaches. It's pretty legit. Turn this off. This holds about 3.3 gallons of water. Could it be, you know, more happy with that thing? Especially when I'm going to the beach, hose off, go surfing, hose all the sands off of my feet. Another way the thing works is when you fill it up, you can fill it up through the top. You could, uh, Fill it up through the top. It doesn't pressurize itself, but you got to pressurize it with an air compressor or tire bike pump. Or if you're near a hose, you could disconnect this, plug this in right here, connect the hose, and it starts pressurizing itself as it goes into the 3.3 gallon tank. I like to keep it in this little cubby here. It's a little mess. Also got the Tacoma bed mat here love that thing we'll move to the front of the truck here I got the Palfrey built rock sliders here took a while to get these installed just because my first time installing rock sliders and the instructions that it came with were pretty confusing to say the least not gonna lie got them top plated and steel powder coated as well Thought about getting them line X, but decided not to. Decided to go with the powder coat just because the the upkeep. In case I scratch them, they're just gonna get banged up anyways. I can just spray paint them and keep them in orderly fashion here. I don't know if I posted, but I got all the skid plates underneath here. I don't know if you guys can see that from front to back from Palfrey build as well. All steel. Show you guys the inside here. Got these recently, these volume knobs from Hondo Garage. Pretty awesome. Most of you Tacoma owners out there know that these are a pain in the fucking ass. The stock ones, at least. Um, as you know, you know, turning the volume up, you end up touching the screen when you don't want to and changes the channel, and it's kind of annoying. Ended up going with these volume knobs they got really good grip and they're comfortable and they kind of retain that stock look that i i'm going for i also just bought my s pod touchscreen right here couldn't be any happier with this as well you know it tells you your battery voltage the the temp and also got the ram ball mount to hold this up from hondo garage with uh the air vent mount I can still utilize my air vent with that, and I really like that as well. There's no drilling, no nothing, just bolts right up. What else have I done? Let's see. Let me take you guys outside. Let me pop the hood of the truck. Show you guys the S-Pod here. One hand, one hand. The struggle is real. Let's see if I can get this. 
So as you guys see right there, that's my Air B dual air compressor. That was a fun little project that I installed with my pops. I also got the Slee off-road mount that fits like a glove. Still have enough room to fit the air intake if I ever want to do that to go with air lockers. I have it routed right here straight to my S pod. Um, so in the future, like I said, anything for you guys that don't know out there about the S pod, it uh, you know takes all this mess out of the way and you mount all your lights, everything straight to the S pod and makes life hell of a lot easier. Um, that's about it for my mods. I'll uh, keep you guys posted in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this this video. Like I said, I haven't posted in a while. Um, I'll show you guys, you know, in a couple months, I just ordered the C4 Low Pro bumper. I'll do a review on that. Maybe I'll do a little installation video on that as well. I can't wait for that. Um, reason I went with the low pro instead of a uh, full size bumper is because I kind of wanted to retain that stock look. I really like the the front bumper. I didn't really want to hack up my car too or my truck. It's it's brand new. Um, you know, I only have six thousand eight hundred miles on it. Maybe in the future when the when the time calls for it, I'll I'll start cutting into the the front bumper. But for the time being, I think the low pro bumper is a good. Good call, keep that factory look. But all in all, you know, the build is coming along great. Let me know what you guys think about it or if you guys have any questions of where I bought any of the, the mods that I have on the truck. Uh, I'd love to help. You know, please like and describe it. Subscribe, not describe, I don't know why I just said that. Subscribe if you guys like the video and Panda Taco out. Thanks for watching.